G'day guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero Hero song tutorial. In this lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the acoustic version of Last Train Home by John Mayer. And this is based off his live performance of the song. You can find that in the link in the description below. Now for the basics of this you will need your guitar in standard tuning and won't need a capo. If you want to master your chords back to front then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve in your guitar in general then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium which is my complete step by step guitar course. Let's jump into the lesson. All right, so let's start with the intro, which is also used in the break as well. So there's one line of chords here. We're gonna start with an A shape. Now the way John plays it is like this. So first off, ring finger on the seventh fret of the fourth string, middle on the sixth fret of the third, and index on the fifth fret of the second string. So that's just a simple A triad right there. But what he does is he reaches over and uses his thumb to hit the fifth fret of the sixth string. So it will sound like that. So that's our A, and now we go to an E. So for the E chord, from our A, we'll just slide down our ring finger one fret, index finger goes onto the fourth fret of the third string, and middle finger onto the fifth fret of the second string. And now we're gonna lift our thumb. Now it's really important here that as you strum this chord, your ring finger, as it's fretting that sixth fret of the fourth string needs to lightly touch the fifth string. By doing so it will mute that and you won't have that low A ringing out. You'll just have the low E and then the E inversion. So that's an E chord but, but when you strum it and you fret it correctly you won't have that pesky A note ringing out. So it's really important that you play this correctly and this is how John does it. All right, so that's the E. Now for the first two chords, we have a strumming pattern that goes like this. Down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And the point at which we change is on that two beat. Essentially what we have here is a 16th note strumming pattern. So, so you could just go one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, and change on the two beat. So one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. But of course, to make things a little more interesting, we'll, we'll add some pauses here and there. But it's pretty important for you to understand that all the strumming that is occurring is a 16th note strumming pattern. So they're on the subdivisions of 16th notes. But anyway, going to our pattern, it will sound like this from the A to the E. Down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. For our next bar, we have our A, we have our E again, and then we go to a B. So it's the same as our A shape, just up at seventh and ninth frets. Now it's really important that you do mute the fifth string here as well. So whether you do that with your thumb or your ring finger, it's up to you. And then back to E. Now each one of those chords is just held out for one beat. Playing that once for each chord will sound like this. Down, down, up, down, 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 down. For our third bar, we're going to our A, and this is the tricky bar because there's a little bit of some muting and a quick change. So we go to A. We're gonna strum that up until the end beat after the three. So down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. For this last little section, it's a little bit tricky though. Starting from the end beat after the three, we're going to do a muted strum on the down strum. In order to get that muted sound, all you need to do is release your fingers and not actually push them down, but still touch the strings. And then on that up strum, we go to our E shape. Now we're not gonna lift our thumb here either. We're gonna keep it where it is, go to this E shape. We're gonna do an up strum here, and then a muted down strum right after that. And then another up strum where we're pushing down the E. All I'm doing here is pushing down my fretting fingers on those required beats. So mute E, mute E. Lift, fret, lift, fret. And then we end with two more muted strums, which is just a down, up. So starting from the mute, and with the A, and a little faster. So just be sure to take that really slowly. But again, 
it's a 16th note strumming pattern. So ideally you want your, your hand, your strumming hand to just be constantly going with that 16th note rhythm. And then for the fourth and final bar, we just have our A, but we're just strumming this the whole way through with a down, 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 down. So there's four sections here. I'll play them section by section and then I'll put them all together. The first bar. And then the second bar. The third bar. And then the final bar. Now let's put that all together. And that's it for the intro and break. So next we'll move on to the verse. Now the verse has two lines of chords here. The first line of chords we've already learnt. So that's really nice and easy. Now the second line of chords is almost identical, except this little section that occurs at the end of the third bar, instead of going to our E here, so. We're gonna go up to our B triad here. And we're just gonna focus on those three strings. We're not gonna include that bass note in there. But everything else about that bar and the strumming pattern stays the same, including the mutes. So it will sound like this. And in total for the verse, we have this. Next we get to our chorus, which is really easy. There's just two lines of chords here. We're gonna start with our A. Now we're going to use a different strumming pattern here that goes down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. But notice that it's still effectively a 16th note strumming pattern. We're just holding some strums longer out than others, but you could just strum on every 16th note if you wanted. So one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, just feel it out and play what sounds nice to you. So we have our A, then we go to a C sharp minor. So we're moving our thumb up to the ninth fret of the sixth string, ring finger on the 11th fret of the fourth, and then our index finger bars across the ninth fret of the third and second string. And what you wanna do is mute that fifth string as well. So one strumming pattern there, and then we go to our E shape, and then back to our A for one strumming pattern. For the second line of chords, we start with our A. Then we go to the C sharp minor for one strumming pattern. Then we go to an F sharp minor. So it's the same shape, just down at second and fourth frets. Now he just strums this and holds it out when he plays this in the first chorus. And then we go to our A. This A is only held out for two beats and not a full bar. So we're gonna strum this with a down, 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 up. And then the same strumming pattern up on the B. So it's pretty simple, the chorus, and all together it will sound like this. Now the second time he plays the chorus, he actually holds out the C sharp minor for the full bar and not the F sharp minor. Now for the outro, we're basically just playing the verse. Now the second time we play it though, um, we are mixing things up a tiny bit. So let's just call this outro. Now for the second line of chords, when we go to our A in the third bar, we're just gonna hit it, strum it, hold that out for a full bar, and then 
our outro is the A twice and then E slash G so it's the E shape but we're also putting our thumb on the fourth fret of the sixth string and then F sharp minor and then E so the final bar And those are all the main parts you need to learn for this live acoustic version of Last Train Home. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song and I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. Big thanks to my friend Eric for lending his awesome vocals to this playthrough. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to to practice, play along to, and see how you go. Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you want to grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzeritohero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.